Hello, my name is Tristan, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, please like and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel, and I will surprise you with my video game walkthroughs and my um, traveling uh, walkthroughs, too. So, hang on tight. It's because I'll be there every week. Hello and welcome to my, um, of Super Mario Odyssey. So, in our, uh, last video, we just completed, uh, Cap Kingdom, which is the first kingdom. And this is the second kingdom. And, yeah, Mario falls flat on the face. So, like, read these signs and walk around there and explore. Because this is where you're going to get your first power, man. This is how you do a home and cap. So most of the time you really want to hit these guys. Well, you could control the chain chomp. And he could break these ancient broken stuff. And, well, you just move him around one direction. And then if you let go of the stick, he goes flying the other. But you also are the least to capture. So, like, try to break these for accuracy, but remember to break the glowing one. And that will be your first tower moon. So just get past that chain chomp, run over to it, Jump and get it. And there you go. You have your first power moon. Well, you need five to repair that uh, old ship over there that looks like very rusty across this bridge. So, like, right here. You only need five, but you could still get more, but, yeah. Cappy says it's just an older model, just throw him on top of that globe, and then he should be able to get the Odyssey cranking. So, you only have one for now, and then you'll need four more, and then use the chain chomp to break this wall, get onto Stone Bridge, and that time we'll show you how to do a spin throw, like, what I just did to get the heart from the flowers. So it says spin throw. So just shake the pro controller. I'll do it one more time for you. Like that. That's a spin throw. So you could like hit all of your enemies at once or something like that. You could also use your hat to hit these and grab coins, as you may know. And it seems like this place is blocked by a rock. So you can't really go there for now. So if you just make it to the other side again, you'll be able to climb this soul wrecked staircase. Jump, jump, and then over here, grab some of these special coins over here and well you could pass stone bridge either way but this is a perfect way to practice your spin throw cat peach down there if you hit her she'll give you a heart cause a climb up these old wrecks and then, yeah. so this huge chain shot you have to capture it you could collect some coins. And then you may see, like, an older version of a Mario game behind this wall a bit. So you want to wreck that wall. And then you'll see a pixelated pipe. And then you want to go in, and then you're practically in an uh, older Mario game or whatever. It's like a flat Mario game. Then... Well, you can only dash and jump. You can also crouch, which we'll talk about later. 
in um, other episodes, but for now, it's just dash and jump. So you could jump out. You see two chain chomps. You want to get past them, and then cross this bridge. And then you see this fat bunny, fat lady bunny, with her golden chain chomp. It looks like she has three power moons, also known as multi moons. You have to fight her chain chunkins, and you have to hit her multiple times in the face with it. So first you have to capture it by knocking off its hat, and then getting it into your control. So like this, and then wind it, and then pull like a regular chain chomp, except you want to aim at her face. And then once her face turns red, that means it's the final time you need to do it. So, right here, he'll start. Uh, she'll start to whack, and then yeah. After you do that, like, like I said, like when she has yellow eyes and her face turns red, that's when you really want to give her the whack. And now you have a multi moon, which is worth three more than a regular power moon. Kind of cool, isn't it? But you still need one more, since we only have four. So, you float down back to the Odyssey. So, Cappy will tell you to throw him on that globe again. And you have four power moves, and you only need that much left. So just walk around. You'll see this chain shot. Just capture him. Get that old ball. And then climb into that pipe. Up here, there's a literal power moon. But first, you might want to do the checkpoint. So, like, you won't get lost. If you climb that pole, I'll give you a heart. But, yeah. And Cappy just said the ship can take off now. And this is Takatu. And he'll give you clues um, on power moons. If you go up to him and start talking. Also, once you get, like, all five power moons you originally need, this will appear... And there's a T-Rex on top of it. And you can actually capture it. He is, like, super strong. He could knock off uh, Chain Chomps. He could dash, like, these little pitties. He could just crush them with his foot. And now that rock is gone, you could go through this door. And that allows you to go through this special pixelated stage. So now you could leap on this old turtle's head. And, well, you're flat again. But if you follow that turtle shell, like, you just go through. Well, like, you can't literally see yourself, so you have to be careful. And there's a literal power moon in here! But we already have more than we need since we have six now. But it's always great to collect more. You can see a power moon up there, too. So... Could leap through. There. Go in here, up, throw, down, you could climb on these stone things, then after that you'll come across the pixelated pipe again, and I believe if you go up there might be something, I just forgot to do that, I'm like so sorry.
So, like, you could go get your T-Rex again if you want to, to go back to the Odyssey. But, yeah. Now you have seven power moves, which is already more than enough. And it's transforming! And the Odyssey is restored, and now you could go to the next kingdom, which I believe is Sand Kingdom. I will also give you a preview at the end of this video, if you are patient enough, to um, stay here and watch it. And now Mario has a new hat. So, now we're inside the Odyssey. Looking curious about where we're traveling. Yeah, Cappy starts talking to you. Yep, so if I review some skills. Yep. So you're going to Sand Kingdom. And yep. preview of the next video. Look if you dare. So now we're in Sand Kingdom Tostarena. And atop the highest tower is the place where you uh, find the next tower moon. Yep. And he'll say, Mario will say to Cappy it's cold, is because, well, there's ice everywhere, but it's usually hot in deserts. So this is the preview. And thank you for watching the Cascade Kingdom walkthrough with me. See you next time.